Good afternoon, world. I have just received our new grass cutter so we can brush cut and clear our new land. But it was really cheap on Lazada, so I'm worried it may be a scam. If you buy stuff on the internet from here on Lazada, they ask you to film yourself opening it just in case when you open it, there's nothing in the box. And we have actually been victim of a Lazada scam before. We ordered a hard drive for our computer and it turned out to be a brick. So I'm gonna open this on camera so I've got evidence. What do you think, Bobby? You think there's actually a grass cutter in here? Yes, I think there's one in there. You think so? It definitely is. I know it doesn't look like a grass cutter, does it? But I... The, the brush cutter box inside, which is a good start. Oh good, I'm glad it's a grasshopper. No, not a grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> a grass cutter box inside. Yeah, it's a good start. Not a grasshopper. No, we don't want grasshoppers, do we? Yeah. <laughs> that would be a very big... We got it! There's a grass cutter, but is there a grass cutter in the box? <laughs> That's the question. Last time we got the box, but we didn't have anything inside the box. Yeah, it was just a brick. The brick. Yep, yeah, it was. A very expensive brick. A very expensive brick. Yeah, bricks aren't that expensive. No. Unless it's a crystal brick. Yeah, crystal bricks would be expensive. So, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Does this brush cover on it? It does. It's supposed to be a Honda 50cc petrol ah yes there's a grass cutter in where there. there is we haven't been scammed can't yeah. believe it seems like there's going to be a big long stick and a grass cutter inside that's right Ooh. inside the box we have a four stroke almost 50 cc honda grass cutter what's which, that what's that little circle uh big this thing? funnel yeah. so we can pour petrol in it what yeah, it's a petrol one. Oh my goodness Ooh. If you're wondering who that commentator was making all that noise in the background, are you as excited about grass cutting as I am? <laughs> of course I am. Yeah? Have you had a fresh shower? Oh, of course I have. You just came back from school, didn't you? I just came back from school and I'm super stinky like a dead pig. A <laughs> dead pig? Oh yeah, but, but now I'm as smooth as lavender. Smooth as lavender. Not as bumpy as a dead pig. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go get dressed. <laughs> what do you think about all this puppy? What do you think about grass cutting? Are you excited to go to the land? Yeah, you haven't been to our new land yet, have you? It's going to be fun. We're going to cut all the grass and see how much space we've got to build a house. Cut it in half. Yeah. So this is what you get in the box. This looks like the throttle. It has like wires on the end, which need to be plugged into something. There's a throttle cable there. And they've given us a little funnel as well to funnel the petrol into it. I presume the tank is inside the engine somewhere, inside the motor. And in this box underneath, which I haven't actually opened yet, is the, the bar, the big bar, which will have the cutter on it. I'm not sure if this comes with a blade. If you've been watching our videos from last week, we went to the handyman store and we found one of these for 10,000 pesos. I managed to get this for 2,500 pesos. I had to pay some delivery, so it came to about 3,000 in total, but it's a third of the cost. So hopefully it's good. I mean, it's Honda, so it can't be that bad. <laughs> Is that the sound it's gonna make? Yeah, it's gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what sound it's going to be. So this is what you get in the box. I never had one, and I'm not like grown up to kid. Yeah, yeah, you're not really ready for using this yet. This is an adult's machine. Now look at this, so you get a- Unless you're a really smart kid. Shoulder strap, you get this kind of drive shaft thing, which comes in two parts really solid heavy, heavy duty thing you get this chunky blade here the tools that you need to put it together the motor itself honda honda gx3 s it is it's cool I thought the funnel it was just... and this little kind of uh, protector which I thought was... It was just uh like vehicles that were honda no they also do um wheat reapers so there's so wheat many reapers. names for this thing americans call them weed whackers we call them strimmers and whoever named this manual calls them wheat reapers. There's also that as well, brush cutter. So whatever you want to call it, this is what you get in the box for 2,500 pesos. <laughs> <laughs> Before using our brush cutter, please read the manual carefully. 
So I'm now about one hour and a half into trying to put this very simple thing together. There's like four pieces that need to go, but because the instructions aren't very clear, it's making it much longer. It is starting to resemble a grass cutter though. The thing that I've found most tricky is if you didn't know anything about carburetors, you would find it really hard to put this thing back together. And they haven't given any instruction as to how to attach the wires or how to attach the throttle cable. So if you've never worked on a motorbike before, you'd really struggle with that, especially with no indication what to do in the manual. All of the YouTube videos I've found about putting this together are in Tagalog and are from the Philippines, I guess, because a lot of people have bought this from Lazada. But the videos are also of an old model. So I'm just kind of piecing together information using what I can to get it together. And yeah, I'm excited to use it. Poppy, why are you getting involved? Hmm? Why are you getting involved? Yeah, you want to help me? You want to oh. use your mouse? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And not me. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's bigger than I thought as well. It's actually quite long. So I think it's probably about, well, it's over, probably about two meters long. It's bigger than I thought. It's really big, isn't it? It's like, like the biggest thing in the whole world. Not that big. Like, I thought it was going to be like, like about that big. Mm. I've actually had a dinner break while building this thing, but I think we're done. We actually had to wrap the blade in basically tea towels because it's so sharp it's unbelievable i wasn't sure if they were going to provide the blade and also the nylon strings which would be much better for cutting grass but i've only got this so i think this is good for when we first get to the land because we'll be able to cut away the big heavy material and then i could probably find somewhere that sells the nylon cutter to go on the end and then we can use that to do some fine trimming. Ultimately, we just want to see the shape of the land in its full glory. And I just want to also try this thing out and see if it works. Like I said, it's much cheaper than anything else we've found on the island in person, either in Dapper or in General Luna. So I've got this kind of a niggling feeling that it's like not going to work or it's going to be really cheap and break easily. But then it is a Honda brand and, you know, our cars are Honda. We've used Honda motorbikes before. They're pretty decent. So you wouldn't think that they would put their name to this. Good morning. Good morning. We are preparing for a day of land clearing by getting some engine oil for the grass cutter. The brush cutter. Brush cutter, yeah, whatever you want to call it. What was the other one? Wheat Reaper. Never heard really? That one. Yeah, Wheat Reaper. <laughs> oh. all Sinister. Yeah. <laughs> Story, you're actually on your way to school, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah? Looking forward to it? Another day ahead? Yeah. Got your bag with your snacks in? Yeah. Good. So the plan was while Story is at school, Jay and I are going to go to the land, but this is weather dependent, this plan. It's actually turned really grey and rainy and it rained in the night as well, so it might be a bit too wet. So we're going to see how it plays out. We haven't even started this brush cutter yet, so I don't know if it even works. So we need to put some engine oil in it and we need to fill it up with gasoline and then see if it starts. And then we'll judge whether it's safe enough to stand on the landing clear. But if it's wet and slippery, then it's not a good idea to use one of these yeah. things. It'd be super dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Story is in school and our plan has been scuppered by the rain. It is absolutely pouring down so what a waste of time <laughs> our morning is changing can you imagine what it's like for actual builders like constructing in this kind of conditions without some kind of cover how would you do concrete how would you do any land work yeah it's difficult i think that's why rainy season projects though like, they take forever don't they yeah. so yeah this is a uh, part of the journey i guess we had a plan plan got destroyed <laughs> and uh, now we don't know what we're gonna do <laughs> at least we managed to get the oil and the petrol and the weed whacker is good to go it's when constructed yeah constructed it is yeah but we won't know if it actually works <laughs> which yeah. is what we wanted to show we wanted to show it turning on in this video to say yeah it actually works it's a working thing but yeah we're not getting out and doing land work in this crazy rain it's really coming down heavily i'm even in my land clothes yeah. <laughs> i was ready to be put to work this morning but never mind we 
need to go and find something to do now because we have like four hours to wait for Story. Yeah, I'm sure we can find coffee somewhere. Yes. And on that note, I'm going to end the video. I hope you've enjoyed it, giving you a little insight and... So loud. So loud, yeah. Um, anyway, have a good day. We'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.